Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer for the month of June. This reading will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. It is a general reading. So if it doesn't sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So let's begin. Above here, I'm using the uh, fallen angels, and they will be presiding over this reading. Now, the first one that has made an appearance is Helfus, and this is the angel um, who oversees the building um, of a sturdy um, and well-provisioned defense tower. So he is far-sighted he senses danger long before there's any clear evidence of it so he knows how to prepare and he is urging preparation right now in this card would indicate that you are probably in a period of uh, of respite uh, of um, calmer waters okay so but it's like the calm before the storm Still, um, if you're well prepared, you can avoid the storm. So this is what he urges you to do. It is gaining peace through strength. Now, next to him is Vin. So um, Vin is the architect. Yeah, um, he's both a builder and a destroyer of towers and defense walls. So he can cause rivers to flood, oceans to rise in storms. He sees the past and the future and uncovers the problems, the hidden causes of troubles you face and of sly enemies who seek to undermine you or even personal weaknesses of which you may be unaware. So he brings things to the surface. He brings clarity. Now, next to Vin, we have um, Bufus. Now, um, she's represented as being a feminine energy, and so her appearance uh, heralds uh, a revolution or an upheaval that may be alarming and cause some grief, but um, it is happening for a reason and can lead to some good in the end. Now, this may have happened because I see the tower is down here and these they're all talking about the tower. They're talking about some type of upheaval that has either come or um, or can uh, come around. Now, here we have next to next to her we have Bael. Now, this is a card of secrecy and invisibility. This fallen angel offers you a cloak of invisibility, so that you can further your plans. Okay, to orchestrate events around you without being noticed. At the bottom of the deck is Andrea, Andrea Fus. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right, but that's my attempt. <laughs> it is a card of persuasion. Okay, so <clears throat> whatever project that you have in mind, it's telling you, and it's telling you what to do here. Okay, so whatever project you have in mind needs careful planning and clearly stated aims. This angel is a master of logic and persuasiveness in, arg in arguments. He is the patron of orators who win their case by reasoned argument more than emotional rhetoric. So there is a need here to use the head and not the heart if you want to win this and to be prepared. Being prepared and using logic is going to help you win 
this situation, okay? So we see the tower down here. So um, this has either happened and you fear being unable to rebuild it or to repair, repair it and get this new, be this new beginning of, of the Banam here. Or it has happened and you are fearing um, being unable to um, to build it. <laughs> I hope I said that right. <laughs> so either it has happened or you fear that it would it would happen. Okay, because clearly the relationship has suffered a blow. Something unexpected because these cards sit at the root. So now we have the couple and they're here, Lord of Wisdom, Lady of Wisdom. So you may be feeling powerless in the moment, um, hoping to find a solution or hoping that a solution will be uh, given to you. You are here as the Queen of Hearts with the Seven of Hearts and the uh, and the Three of Clubs. So with the Seven of Hearts, you are um, dreaming a lot, uh, longing um, for this person and for this uh, ultimate result. Um, the Three of Clubs is uh, exploring um, exploring one's options um, in hopes perhaps of getting this second chance um, in hopes that things will turn in her favor it's what she looks at is this three of clubs so here we have the other part here we have the other partner, I should say. And he's looking over information and trying to decide or to make a decision. Um, and this has to be with regards to a reunion. So you may not be with this person presently. So this tower may have already hit and you're hoping to be able to rebuild it. But you feel... Uh, powerless like the decision is out of your control for whoever this is you're um clearly you feel that it is in the other person's control as to whether they want this or not so clearly you want it but you're waiting to see if they do or not and with melodamantum um sitting here central you're hoping for that fair and just outcome praying to the divine hoping things will go in your favor because you want to go back to this person or get back into this relationship to rebuild these walls and start again. Now again, um, with the Melodomantum uh, being here, it is a card of justice um, and would be once again referring to the need to use logic. It is in the upright, which is very good. Okay, because um, what happens or what would happen were one to uh, not use logic and use uh, or base a decision on emotion. Uh, there would be consequences for that and it would then become reversed. So it is very important and all these cards are, are seem to be really pointing that out that there is a need for logic if you wish to win this. Now clearly uh, we see this person the other part the other person is thinking of a meeting possibly thinking of um, 
meeting up with you to discuss because he is the negotiator. Okay, so to discuss something. He's still tossing this idea around, but he will choose to have this meeting. Now, you want to put an end to this dark period that you're in of the Ten of Swords. And you are hoping that the decision this person will make will be in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune here, but you cannot see because your eyes are blindfolded. So you don't know which way the wheel is going to go in your favor or against. And because of this, it's, it's like this waiting period that you're in. And we saw that right away with this angel here. You may be letting your emotions get the better of you and they're telling you not to do this okay because you are in the nine of swords energy which is a repeating um a repeating card nine of spades nine of swords same card so there's a lot of anxiety here a lot of worry and um it if you continue in that vein um it's possible that you may, um, it's possible that things would not go in your favor. So you got, you, you need to ground yourself and get better prepared. Um, before you have this meeting, it's telling you this, it's warning you ahead of time because you're very afraid you're going to lose this, that you cannot win this, that it won't go in your favor. And you're, just uh, really stressing yourself out. Two of hearts, king of clubs, and the six of spades. The two of hearts um, can be um, a deepening interest. Okay, I feel in this uh, in this scenario here, it can also be about a choice in love. Um, you may be afraid this person is going to walk away, but I feel that um, if you can approach this in a more logical way, that you will see um, signs of improvement that you can overcome these difficulties. Right now, it's like you're in uncharted territory, but there is a light at the end of this uh, tunnel. There is a calmer shore, but you will have to use logic to get there. So this person brings news. This news is about a decision. This decision will bring clarity and it will bring back the peace and harmony that you seek, that you desire. And I feel, um, I feel the happiness. I feel that second chance is yours, that you will have it. Again, you need to get grounded because here I see that you're just um, very deep in your thoughts, in fear. Um, yeah, very afraid. It could also be um, the Nine of Swords can also speak to somebody who's feeling guilty. So for someone, it could be that you may carry some guilt for something. And um, for this reason, you may feel that there won't be a second chance, that you cannot win this. 
Um, but that's not what I see. I see a happy outcome here. So um, try to remain calm, um, get prepared, stay grounded, get out of this energy here. Um, Use logic. Think with the head and not the heart. It is the way through this. It is the way to win it. They're all telling you this. Whatever caused this upset, you can heal this. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. I wish you all the best and many blessings to all of you.